The matrix filter works like this. We take a pixel and analyzes all the pixel colors around it, and then we're going to change the, change the pixel color that, um, on the basis of our analysis. In this example, our pixel is in the middle, and all the surrounding pixels are surrounding it. Uh, zero means we're ignoring the surrounding pixels, and we're going to just take 100% of our pixel color, which means we don't the filter doesn't change anything about our image. In the second example, we're going to ignore our pixel, but we're going to take 100% of the pixel color above our pixels. So that means we're going to move the whole image with one pixel. On the third example, we're just going to ignore the surrounding pixels, but our pixel is going to uh, double its value, which means we're going to lighten the whole image. In this example, we're going to just half uh, the value of a pixel, which means we're going to darken the whole image. If we take those five pixels, and we're going to take the average of them, we're going to end with a blur filter. Edge detection is a little more complicated. The way it works is uh, we take, if we have um, an area with the same color, like the whole thing is white, uh, and we put those numbers together, it's going to just equal zero, so the uh, result will be black. If we only start with black color, the result will also be zero, and then it's going to be black again. But if we have like this, those pixels right here are white, and these pixels in this area are black. This means that this is going to make uh, be the very dominating, and we're going to end like uh, four hundred percent minus one hundred percent minus one hundred percent equals two hundred percent white. So this place is going to be very white if we have an edge like that. We can increase the edge detection strength by just multiplying the numbers, and you can see how it's going to be strengthened with uh, higher values. If you want to make a sharpen filter, it's just like uh, edge detection. But the thing is that we're going to increase it by one, which results in that we're going to see the picture. So it's going to use the original p colors, and we're going to mark the edges uh, where the contrasts are like here and here, between the black and the white areas. The embers filter is also like uh, the edge detection filter, but instead of just uh, marking it like in the sharpen filter, we're going to make it lighter in the left upper corner and darken it in the lower right corner. So we're going to like uh, get an effect of uh, we have a light spot in the low left corner and going to just uh, lighten the whole image up like it was a um, ambush map or height map. Next thing I'm going to sh show is how to make this kind of uh, drawings in GIMP. We're going to start with a picture like we had this, and uh, I'm going to go on my filters, generic, convolution matrix, and I'm going to blur this image a little. I have already set the values in, and I'll just press OK. I'll go into the filters, make a new matrix. And I'm going to make some edge detection. I think I'm going to make. I'm going to invert it and make it stronger. Like this. Then I'm going to just level the image out. Oh, I forgot to turn off the colors. And then I'm going to level it out. Like this. And I'm going to blur it once again. And I'm not going to invert it. And we got just this nice drawing.